Hey there YouTube fans, how you going man? Hey I'm using the, the Canon 90D um, digital camera sh shooting in 4K and a Rode mic on top so let's see how that goes but I know my camera is good but um, let's see how this mic is. Guess what guys, I mean I don't have the energy this morning to jump up and down but I really want to. Um, I have cured my iron deficiency yes I have cured my iron deficiency what a long road but I did it now I just want to throw this disclaimer out there this is what worked for me this is my results um, go and see your doctor I'm not your doctor you know the drill right um, this is what's working for me somebody else might benefit out there but please check with your doctor all right Let's, I've got some of my blood test results back and I just want to go through these things. Now, remember, if you haven't followed my channel before, uh, I had gastric sleeve November 6th, 2021. Um, and I've lost quite a bit of weight. So this morning I am 143, which is a little heavy for me, but I only, I only confess when... I do naughty things. You don't hear when I eat really good. Um, last night I had some pizza. Like I had a vegetarian pizza though, thin and crispy, Domino's one, and um, some thin and crispy uh, Godfather pizza, which is like tomatoes and olives and things like that, but a little bit of processed meats on there. Anyway, look, my cholesterol um, is all right. The doctor said he's not too worried about it and honestly it seems to have come down actually so I'll, I'll just leave it at that but all those things in here like um, sodium potassium chloride um, bicarbonate calcium all those I cannot see anything out of the normal range and then here's the other really exciting thing guys ALP, AST, ALT, which are all like liver function tests, they are now all within the normal range. Now, the doctor said that doesn't mean that you don't have fatty liver, so that's what he said, but they are in the normal range. So, losing my point is losing that weight, not only did it help my liver, but it also helped my diabetes, which I'll talk about later on. Um, so... ALP is now 12, AST is 86, and um, ALT is now 23. So in the past, it was 42, which is high, and the ALT was 76, which is high, but now the ALT is 30, so it's in the reference ranges. GGT is also 47, which is in the reference range. LDH, okay, that's cholesterol, I believe, is 175. Total cholesterol, total cholesterol, 5.1. There you go, 5.1 mmol forward slash L. And the reference range is under 5.6. Oh, he did do, oh no, there's no magnesium. Okay. Um... The CRP, C-reactive protein, I talked about this in the past, it's a marker of inflammation, it is still high, it's at 15 and the reference range is under 5, but it was, last time they tested me, right, it was actually 51, so it's gone from 51 to 15, so get it under 5 and we're in business, um, that, it's, it's still from being overweight, um, I'm not, not going to talk about the bleeding studies, although there's one value there high, but it's always been high. Could be just me. Um, hematocrit, very quickly, um, which is your hemoglobin and all that, is 158, which is fine. And hematocrit, uh, hemoglobin, yeah, 158. Hematocrit, 0 0.48. Uh, red cell count, 5.6, which is great. And uh, mean corpuscular volume, I think they call that, MCV, is 86, which is in the normal range. Yeah. Um, 
no, no neutrophils, monophils, or sonophils that are uh, elevated, which means um, I, no detectable infection. Now, this is what I really wanted to talk about. Iron studies. How cool is this? Iron is 23. Transferrin is 2.8. TIBC is 69. Now, get this. This is what I had a real problem with. From being as low as 12 or something like that, now the transferrin saturation, which I had real issues with, is now 33%. 33% is fantastic. It's right in the middle of the range, basically. The range is 20 to 45. 33 is you are not iron deficient, right? Um, now, the actual ferritin was, is fantastic at 179. Even with an elevated CRP, 179, you are not iron deficient. I need to talk, to be, talk about... Um, what helped with that so I'll try to remember vitamin B12 is th uh, 336 which is decent and active B12 is 95 again decent and folate is is 34 um, what did I do now uh, I did have surgery to correct a bleeding issue I have talked about that in the past look honestly we're all adults here it was hemorrhoids I did do a video on that a couple of videos on that check my channel um, so the bleeding stopped and then I got an iron infusion and now I've been taking bariatric vitamins so that's what I wanted to tell you um, I didn't mess around I just you know paid the $37 a month or whatever it is and I'm taking bariatric vitamins I'm also taking a little bit of extra iron as well now um, it's only a little bit of iron it's um, sublingual basically iron, iron melts we call them in this country um, I also started taking an extra multivitamin in the middle of the day. So I'm, I'm taking more vitamins than necessary. And I seem to have felt better doing that. Um, I've been hitting the gym and things like that. So that's why I'm so tired today. ESR, I can't remember exactly what that is. But I know that was important also for iron. It's just on the tip of the range, which is 15 and now I had low vitamin D and a lot of adults do have low, low vitamin D and this can be an issue with your psoriasis but my psoriasis is terrible at the moment because I stopped treating it because I wanted to see where the patches are instead of just putting cream everywhere um, so you'll get a bit of a rebound effect but the, the vitamin D which is hydro hydroxycalciferol if I pronounce that right because I had a needle right I had the shot it's a hundred and twenty three n m o l forward slash l and the reference ranges are 50 to 150 so it's a really good vitamin D from the shot because I'm always indoors at the moment um, now the other thing that corrected itself and, and apparently this is this is related to vitamin D. So we corrected my vitamin D and then the parathyroid hormone, I think they, I think it's pronounced, yeah, parathyroid hormone, PTH, is now just at the top of the reference range, but still within the range, going down from 11.5 down to 9.1. Now it's 6.9, which is just at the top of the range. It is just in the normal range, which I'm so happy about. We got, there's other tests pending, by the way, and when I get them, I will try to share those with you. But I've had a massive, massive win with those two things. I was really worried about the PTH, the parathyroid hormone. I was really worried about the iron getting enough iron in. What did I do? I corrected my vitamin D and I corrected my iron status. Um... Uh, there was something else in there that yes, that's right. I I heard now I've been having heart palpitations And it's funny. They didn't check my magnesium or it's pending or whatever. Is it pending? test pending That's funny. They didn't check it That's a bit of a worry, but anyway um, So I was having ectopic beats. I think they're this 
vascular ectopic beats the die the doctor diagnosed me with i was really lucky that it's actually doing it in his office how rare does that happen i said doctor i can feel it right now my heart is just going crazy fluttering and like palpitating and and all sorts of stuff and then luckily he was able to check my pulse and he checked it and he and he found it how awesome and I did some research on this and this is completely anecdotal according to a New York cardiologist he reckons that people took magnesium pedaloate something like pedaloate or something like that um, of a specific type of magnesium although I've been taking magnesium chelate and I did see because it's easier on your stomach right to take the chelated form and I did see improvements um, in my bloods but he reckons that you may have normal serum levels of magnesium and still have heart palpitations and this ectopic beats and stuff and he said that anecdotally so in other words um, without any major studies people took extra magnesium in that pedalate form for a month or something and a lot of them had their ectopic beats corrected um, so back on back on the the vitamins and the magnesium myself with the bariatric vitamins and the multivitamins I've got to say um, my heart is so much better hardly ever having any um, any palpitations so that's where I'm at I am so tired yesterday I did 300 kilo leg presses and somebody can tell me in the comments what that is in pounds because I don't work in pounds I'm in Australia it's over 600 pounds and um, then after torturing myself like that which by the way isn't actually my highest leg press weight I've ever done um, there's a photo of me doing 380 kilograms but I've done 500 kilograms I've done half a ton I've had to have people sit on the machine in the past but I'm yeah I'm talking young man probably when that happened <laughs> getting a bit old you know um, but and then after doing that I did one and a half kilometer walk <laughs> on top of those hammered legs so I'm just you know I'm pushing it hard and I do try to factor in some rest days in there so today is technically a rest day but I've got stuff all over this house I don't know if you can see in the mirrors I've got the mic stand on the bed and I've got stuff everywhere I just gotta just, I've gotta organize this place up a little bit I think the secret is you try and do one one room at a time right guys all right that's how I am I'm Captain America or so I wish which reminds me brand new shirt brand new like I just pulled the tags off I'm wearing 4XL now I used to be 7XL now 4XL so on the scales from from starting the doing the pre-op diet for bariatric surgery and then now and we're not including the muscle that I regained I've lost 17 kilograms that's probably like 40 pounds or something and um my shorts now these are shorts not pants they're short shorts they're not underwear we wear shorts because it's hot as heck here it's 2xl and this morning they're a little bit sort of tight but you know i was doing legs and i'm probably holding water from all that salt and the pizza and stuff but but they fit they fit well so um and that's down from uh, I'd say four or five XL in the past, yeah. So, I mean, because you men we hold all our weight on our stomach, so I need to lose more of my guts. You know. All right, guys. So that's where I'm at, and um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Teach yourself out. Will this work? Let's see. No, it doesn't work. That's frustrating, isn't it? All right. <clears throat>